Welcome back to Daytime. Do you find at times your personal relationship is going great, but your business relationships are not so good, or maybe vice versa? Well, our next guest believes there are eerie similarities between business success and relationship success. His name is Andy Masters, and he is the author of the award-winning book, Kiss Your Customers, 77 Reasons Why Sales and Service Are Just Like Dating and Relationships, and he's here to tell us more. Good to have you here. It's great to be here. So you say when Valentine's Day comes around, don't just send your loved one flowers, send your business associates something as well? That's right. I mean, it's okay to send your favorite clients or favorite customers, you know, flowers, candy, a gift on Valentine's Day with a card mm -hmm. signed from everybody saying, we love you. We need to show our customers and clients how much we love them and appreciate them as well. That's a nice touch. It yeah. is a very nice touch. <laughs> and it won't freak them out if everybody signs it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's the point. Everybody has to sign it, yes, though. Exactly. If there's just one of you, maybe you shouldn't, yeah, but we lo I love you. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about humor, too. Yeah. Humor is very important in all relationships to some extent. Yeah. And sometimes when you think business, you think we got to be all business. Right. But yeah, you, you got to have fun. You know, you got to have fun at work too. In fact, you know, people are so stressed out right now in business. There's never been a more important time to try to have fun at work and to love our jobs and to love our clients. So let's do those fun sort of things. In fact, you know, one of the important things about humor is, let's face it, people will want to date you hire you and buy from you if they like you. Right. So mm -hmm. humor is what can make that big difference, especially when everyone is so stressed out nowadays. Sometimes they'll do all three anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Maybe if you get lucky, that's right. You know, we hear it from so many people, the, the power of networking. Yeah. But a lot of people have a hard time knowing where to start. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? If you don't have those connections to start with, how do you make them? I think one of the big problems is with networking is we try too hard to get what's in it for me. If you really created a day where, you know, what can I do for someone else, for other people, and over the next 60 days even, how can I take 10 minutes of my time to maybe try to help my clients, my coworkers, my neighbors, my friends, and, and then send those, help, those things out that way? And it's amazing what can, will magically come back to you instead of trying so hard to network. It's kind I of like, like what you say, trust, uh, you know, trust fate and relationships too. Sometimes you just you do good, you put good out there, yeah. it will come back to you as well. That's right. And you know, trusting fate is a great thing. We all love those stories. I have one of those stories myself. However, we can't get too deep into trusting fate. And I love the fact that, uh, you know, sometimes fate needs a good kick in the butt. Okay, so we need to <laughs> grab the bull by the horns and make those things happen. Yeah, because if you just sit back and say what will be will be, well, then maybe nothing will be. <laughs> that's, you, that's have to, you have to make, um, you know, moves to make it happen. Too. Exactly. Yeah. You say apologize with grace and humor. A lot of companies will try to cover up their mistake because right. the client can't know we did this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Mistakes happen in relationships and in business. So, you know, let's have fun with those things and let's see if those people can really like it. That's, mistakes are actually an opportunity to strengthen relationships. So one great example is one time I sent a, a chocolate apology. You can actually go to these websites and upload an edible photo of yourself and edible text. So I sent a, a chocolate apology with the word saying, I'm so sorry, please don't bite my head off. And it was a picture of myself. They loved it, okay? And it was amazing how that really helped the relationship. You can do that at work and in life. All right, and you also say don't take people for granted. And we all hear this and, and you know, relationships outside of work and work relationships. But it's... Yeah. It's very important. You know, it is, and uh, it's amazing. Sometimes I tell people, do you treat uh, the person that you love at home worse than you treat your client? And what I mean by this is, let's say you're at work and someone and your client spills something all over the carpet. And you could be saying, oh, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. That's old carpet anyway. And if your spouse or loved one or child does the exact same thing, oh, what did you just do? I can't believe you. You got to be more careful. And it's like, you know what? Let's treat our loved ones as well as we treat our customers and clients sometimes. Yeah. We really need to remember that. That. Show them the same kind of respect. Absolutely. I like this one. Learn to face rejection because it's going to happen. Well, yeah, I like to say that uh, of all the things in, in the book and in my programs, you know, that's my personal expertise. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of experiences from uh, looking back from those uh, unsuccessful dating relationships in my 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned a lot. And what, what's amazing is you really can take a step back. Sometimes it takes 24 hours or 24 days or so forth. But let's look back. Let's laugh. Let's say, you know what? I know it was the other person's fault. They did the wrong decision. But how can I better myself from it so that, you know, next time I can handle it better and, and be better because of it? Right. right. Andy Masters, thank you so much. Absolutely. You can find Andy's book uh, by going to daytimeonline.tv and just click on the link right there. We'll be right back.